Over 100 indigent students of tertiary institutions across the nine local governments of Benue South Zone have benefited from a scholarship awarded by Education Support Funds under APA Sustainability Initiative. Making the presentation at the maiden edition at the Benue South District of Otukpo, the chairman of APA Legacy Sustainability Initiative, Professor David Salifu, said the program would span for a period of five years with the aim of reducing dropout rate increasing access to education and providing financial assistance to students who are from low-income families, among other issues. The sponsor of the scholarship scheme The sponsor of the scholarship scheme, who is the immediate past Benway State Commissioner for Finance, uh, Honorable David Olofu, said the passion to set up the scheme was born out of his experience when he was an undergraduate. He thanked his friends for supporting the project. Go to believe that what we are seeing here today will be is contagious. It will now affect everyone. So I want to also assure you that this will last for five years and even more by the case of the We are also getting people to contribute to this fund. So by the grace of God, we will not lack. And we'll go for the and by maybe perhaps next year it may exceed this number from what we are now doing. The passion to set up a sustainable funding framework for undergraduates was inspired by my experience when I was an undergraduate. And that passion was emboldened by the aborted Chieftaincy title ceremony. This intervention is one of the pillars of our legacy sustainability initiative. And it is, my, it is made, it was made possible by the contributions of men and women of Uruguay, who identified with me on the occasion of the recognition by the Doma Area Tribunal Council. Earlier, the chairman of the occasion and former commissioner of education in Benue State, Sir Bernard Omaye, stressed the need for the sustenance of the scheme and appealed to beneficiaries to make judicious use of the money. The event also featured a paper presentation by Dr. Godwin Oyiwona on the topic Encumbrance to Quality Learning by Students in Tertiary Institutions in Nigeria. One of the recipients appreciated the former Commissioner of Finance for putting smiles on the faces of the students and promised, to, promised not to betray the confidence in them. Those activities should be intensified, and those of you who are now benefiting from this today, don't stop at your graduation, wherever you are going to work. The education, as we all know, is the greatest investment in human capital. And I want to thank Dr. Olofu for this marvelous initiative. It's a holistic approach to scholarship courses. It's not just about school, about tuition. It involves accommodation, it involves meals, utilities, transport, many tools such as books, laptops, and so on and so forth. They, these are the all important elements that students from vulnerable backgrounds need to have in order to enhance their performance. We are grateful for this great mindset looking towards and beyond the affairs of the students. Knowing the hunger and the kind of difficulties we face in the Federal University and Polytechnic and all of that. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.